Oh, beautiful people of YouTube, beautiful people of the most high God. Got some things I want to go over with you here today. I just want to say hi. Life is good, life is great, and I hope it's going well for you guys also. Thank you guys for watching my videos and checking me out. And I just, um, Wish the best to you guys. Okay, now, light of the world is who? Jesus Christ. We know this because Christ gave life and release that freedom from our sins. Okay, we've got the healing, we've got forgiveness, we've got many things. All come from God. Like when I wake up, you guys, in the morning, you know, you want to praise God, you want to praise that true lion. Of Judah, because we got another lion coming, and that's lion, and he's coming first. And we got the true lion of Judah, the L lion, the love lion. Um, like you guys, like walking over to my bed. I showed you this before. See, when I get up and when I'm going back and forth, I will see this, and this was the first one I had ever put up. To you can do this, put them up, take them down, but I leave mine up. This is the first one I put up to remind myself. You know, Israel, we're the church. You know, we're the, the walls, the floorboards. You know, it's the women, the children, the men. It's the people that makes up the church, okay? So Israel, and God said, Mercy endureth forever for Israel. Christ can endure all things. You guys, power in His name, in Jesus' name. And then the desire... To do God's work. He gave it to me. Because sometimes you wonder like. Why do I keep doing this. And you get fed up. And you might just need to take a break. You know things get to you. And my third one going out is over here. It's God. See E-turn. T-U-R-N and T-E-R-N. Eternally in my mission. Jesus Christ was God in flesh and in spirit. Emmanuel, God with us. The only begotten Son of God. So you put little things up like that to remind yourself. And, you know, whatever you need to get through. Even if it's just something in your pocket or whatever the case is. And we, I got a new cactus. This is actually my daughter. So she got for her birthday. She picked it out, a little cactus. And... I got this little buddy right here I've added to the insides. I take him out. It's kind of windy and stuff. I was going to say, you guys. Storm coming in. I took some pictures and stuff. And, um, oh no, look. It's the dreadful, um, cross with the Ten Commandments hanging on it. See? And sometimes I like to light a candle up. Maybe face it towards the outside or, you know, whatever I feel like doing that helps me stay in contact with Christ. And you guys should do the same. You don't need to do them things, but whatever it takes for you, you know. Um, here we have this, like... God's ways are sure, okay, you guys? God's ways are true. God's ways are righteous. Follow the path of God. Christ set the example for us. God leads, right? And this is like what I did. Okay, your soul shall be free in love, joy, life, blessings eternally, okay? When you do this. What I asked God was to give me strength, to help give me wisdom to understand the word, you guys. And I started claiming promises in the Bible, and that's when I started understanding it, honestly. The more I started doing correctly and putting out to please God, the more I could understand in the word, and the more he led me to things I didn't understand to get those answers, okay? I said, I told him, I said, God, I do adore you, and I miss you. And I, and I want to be with you. And I ask him in my life. So God please bring Christ into my life. And have him have Him lead me. Because I need you God. I need that forgiveness. Because I screw up. You know. And you give Christ control. God pulled me up from the bottom. And he can do 
anyone that way. Sometimes we got to hit bottom before we come back up. Got to go through hell before you get to heaven. Okay, now, it says, I did this thing, whatever. We'll go this way, whatever. I got to be for God. I will be. Okay. Into that womb, into the honeycomb, the ion, the three Y, the energy, the womb, the Christ energy, the tri, Jesus, the cross energy, the holy, holy, holy is the Lord. That spiritual baptism you receive when you believe, the Lord of all creation, King of kings, Lord of lords, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. And I ask God to take away anything that controls me, that make anything to help make me grow, to shape me, to be a story for Him, for the kingdom, to build the ministry, guys, to help save people, to keep people from perishing and going through hard stuff and hitting their head. Consume me with your holy fire, the spirit, the warmth, you guys. The desire to do all in God's will. God, give me your eyes so I can see. So I can be what you need me to be. And see, bees sometimes are considered in a bad sense in the swarming. Bees also, you know, the honey, you've got this uh, the design, the six, all over nature you find this. And bees pollinate, just like when you start taking things out of nature, and look what happens to the ecosystem. It falls. Okay, now we're, and I do this, I try to praise God, I do praise God every day. But you try to get a center as soon as you wake up, you guys, and push some bad thoughts out, because that's the start of your day. And you don't want to start off bad. If you don't feel good, it's like, oh God, stick with me today, you know, I'm rough, I don't want to get up and do this. Anything... You know, God's right there with, for you, right there with you, okay? Now, we're a battery, and we need recharge, so you need to talk to him every day. And personally, you guys, I get charged by helping people, by passing the word on, by reading. Anything to further the ministry or to help the world, the planet, anything, and especially other people, though. Okay, so 13 is love, right? 13, air. The attention. This is the love attention to your spiritual energy, soul to God, God the soul. It's the relationship, the relate, the ion ship. Because it's together. See, you got a boat, but with God, you got a ship when you're with Him sailing. Okay, and we recharge that positive and negative in us by God, the Holy Spirit. Okay, breath of all creation. The one, the only one, the great I am. I am, that I am is the full name there. And the window is Christ. Sometimes it gets so dirty that we can't see out of it. And sometimes it's so clean, instead of looking at our reflection, we're worried about what's going on out there in the world. And we hurry up and run around the window and go right out to be of the world when we need to be not of the world, but just in the world. We all trip up. That's something to remember. You know your reflection's right there in the glass, but we look right past it. And you surrender your flesh to receive spirit, you guys, that you're not perfect. God is waiting for you. Do all things, he will increase you. The more you move, the more he moves. There's freedom and release, you guys. You just let everything go. Let God recharge you. Okay? God, who which was Jesus Christ, recharges you. Talk to him to receive the gift of Christ. It's free, you guys. The Holy Spirit, God's promise of forgiveness of sin. All that he gave to us to give us recharge because he loved us. He just wants our attention, our love in return. That's the only thing you have to sacrifice in a spiritual body. And just like God is spirit and he must be worshipped in spirit, that's how we do it, guys. By love, by our actions 
are the best we can, but no matter how much we screw up in flesh, it never changes how we love God, how we feel about Him, and He knows that, and that's the beauty of it. Love you guys. Until next time. Bye.